Okay, let's go and build the jaw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edge mode. And first thing that I'm going to do is this polygon over here. I'm going to just split that in half because that is a little bit too big. Okay, so you can just select all of those. So you can just select one, hold shift and select everything. And then go to connect and cut that in half. Okay, just so it fits in a little bit with our other polygon. So also what you'll notice is in between lessons I went and smoothed out everything. Okay, so remember to also now and then go to element mode, select the entire element and then go scroll all the way down and clear all of your smoothing groups and then set that again to one smoothing group. Okay, and that'll also just help that to smooth and also relax that a little bit. So select the element mode and you can go to relax and Get rid of that. So if you want to also just relax certain areas, for example, I can go to polygon mode and for example select a, uh, a few polygons and then just go down and relax that a little bit and you'll see what uh, it'll do. It'll smooth out a little bit. So you can do that as well. Okay. Uh, so the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my left view and edge mode I'm going to select this edge just select edge mode there we go okay so I'm gonna go and select that edge the one right next to the ear okay I'm just gonna take these and just pull them off to the side a little bit okay and I'm going to shift and click that down and drag that down Let's do one more. I'm gonna do about five. Okay, and front view. Yeah, we just need to go and push this off to that side. I'm just gonna go to vertex mode and just push that off. F3. Just gonna select these two, push them back a little bit. F3 again. Uh, okay, wait. Let me just go to my left view. Select those two. Okay. Yeah. Select these ones. And we just want to go and just line that up with our reference image. like that go to my left view uh, it's looking it's looking good okay so the next thing that we want to do is we want to go and bridge these ones together so take the uh, this edge and this one over here and we are going to go because this is if I go to my left view this is going to be uh, where the bottom of the chin uh, is going to start. Okay, so select those two and I'll bridge that. Okay, recancel. Let me try that again. There we go. And I'm going to add quite a few segments. We have one, two, three, four, five. Um. Let me just do six for now. I can always do more if I need to. Okay, I'm just going to go to my left view and I'm just going to push these ones forward a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to add some more segments. Okay, that's fine. I'll just select these two edges and just go to connect and I'll add maybe two more. So we end up with eight. Okay, and then again you can go to vertex mode and just give this some shape just so these edges flow nicely into each other okay go to my front
front view. Uh, my perspective view, actually. Okay, this one needs to go a little bit forward. Okay, so from here, I'm just going to use my own discretion just a little bit. Okay, so this should be fine. I'm going to go and start bridging these together. One segment. Click on the plus sign. Next one. stop there for now okay as you can see quite a lot of shaping that we have to do I'm gonna go select this and just push this down I need to go to F3 okay to our wireframe mode and just shape this out so this might get a little bit difficult okay as you can see there's a lot going on in here so I'm just gonna go to my perspective view and just drag this out just the way that I think will look fine. Okay, and take these ones and just shape them just a little bit better. see what else we can do. Let me go and bridge these ones together. Okay, I'm going to bridge these ones. See, so I'm just going to select this one and hit uh, control backspace. select this one and this one and bridge that adding like three segments and then I can go to vertex mode right click and target weld that edge to that one and then that one to that one okay I'm gonna select this one Read this one and this one. Let's have a look. Let's bridge that. It's coming together. <coughs> Let's see. Let's see if I bridge these ones together. Okay, then I'm ending. Triangle, this is not really what I want. Okay, let's see. What can I do to fix this? Let me go and just shape this. Make this a little bit thinner because that is a little bit too big for my taste. Okay, I'm just gonna go, gonna just hit delete on that one. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna select these three and hit delete. Go to connect, and I'm gonna add in a another segment in there, just one segment. Okay, I'm gonna go bridge that one and this one. Bridge that with three, and then select this one and this one, and bridge that. Okay. 
now I can just right click and target weld this one to that one and then this one to this one and then this one to this one then I'll just right click again and cut from here to here and I can just weld those two points together okay so now again it's just a matter of doing some necessary shaping okay so I'm just going to bring that out Okay, so just uh, just getting a rough shape like that. Go to my front view. Okay, again we have uh, a ditch in there, so you should know how to fix this by now. Okay, you can go to either to vertex mode and drag the individual vertices, or you can go to the push and pull tool. Okay, so paint deform, push and pull. I uh, just need to go and resizes okay and I can go whoa remember to change the intensity okay go to my front view okay or maybe perspective view would be better and then I can go and push this out okay Pushing that out quite a lot, and then I'll go to the relax. And then I'll just slowly start to relax that. So again, just continue doing that until you are happy with the way that uh, that looks. So I'm just going to pause the video and just quickly shape that the way I want. And then we're going to go do uh, this side over here and finish off the character's head. Okay, so next up we're going to go finish off uh, the back area over here. So, what I'm going to do is edge mode, or vertex mode, and I'm just going to take these vertices and just shape them along the outline of uh, the ear. Okay, so just something like that. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go, hold down, I'm go to edge mode, select this edge, hold shift, select the other one, and connect with one edge. Okay, go back to vertex mode, shape that, and edge mode, select this edge and this one uh, right below the ear and I will bridge that okay sometimes the bridge doesn't work just cancel it and just try it again and I'm going to bridge that five. we'll do five and then I'll just shape this also just along the outline of the ear okay so just something like that so you just want to get the rough shape of the ear okay so just something like that hundred percent yeah so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go and just push these ones apart a little bit so now we're just gonna go and bridge across let me just go to my left view okay so this edge is gonna go to this one and then this one is gonna go to that one this one to that one and then there we go okay so I'm just pulling these just apart a little bit 
Okay, go back to my perspective view. Go to edge mode. Control click on that one. Okay, or well let's skip one. And I'll bridge. And we have one, two, three, four, five. So five is perfect. Okay. Select this one and this one. And bridge that. Okay. And just go and just actually go to my left view. And I'm just going to pull these ones out in the X. Okay, same on this side. Just pull them out in the X. Okay, that's still going to be flat. We are going to be working on that uh, later on. Once we go from here, we'll go into the neck, okay, which we'll do in the next lesson. Okay, so once I have that shape more or less. I can just go to bridge and I can bridge these ones together one segment and I can bridge that again click on the plus sign and then just continue on with that okay same here at the bottom just redo this one Okay, and now again, it's just a matter of shaping this. Okay, so you can go select those polygons and relax them, use the push and pull and the relax tool, etc. etc. I'm not gonna worry uh, about that now, I will do that in between lessons. It's gonna take these two and just bridge them together. Okay, just with one segment. Okay. So we'll go and finish that off later. So the next thing that we need to do is now we're going to go and build the actual ear of the character. Okay, so we're going to build the ear. We're going to go build the neck. And then we are done with the character's head and then I'll just do a quick symmetry so we can see what uh, our overall process looks like so far so what uh, what I'm gonna do with the ear I'm gonna go to select border mode and select that open border then I'm gonna go and hit cap so with that selected I'm go to polygon mode and select this polygon that, that we just made then I'm gonna go and hit extrude. Okay, so with extrude, I'm just gonna go and bring this out. Okay, not too much. Maybe zero point five. Okay, something like that, maybe 0 0.5, that should be good. And I'll click OK. And then I'll grab my rotate tool. And I'm just going to go and just rotate that slightly. Okay, I might rotate one more. Okay, I'm just going to go grab my move tool and actually just push this in a little bit. Okay, I just, I think I extruded it a little bit too much. And I'm just going to rotate this out a little bit. Right, that should be good. Okay, I'll go to edge mode. Select one of these edges, shift click. Okay, select that entire ring. And I'll go to connect. And I'll add one segment in there. Okay. <coughs> then polygon mode, select this polygon, hold on shift, select that one. Okay, and then I'll go and extrude that out again. 
but in this case I want to go select instead of extrude polygons I want to set that to group okay so from group I want to go and set it to local normal okay and that'll scale it out like that just gonna go and drag that down a little bit so I think that's yeah might be a little bit too big maybe 0 0.3 Go to the front view, have a look at that. It's not exactly lining up with the reference image, but it's not such a big deal. I think this should be good, so I think 0 0.3, I'm happy with the way that, that looks. Okay, so all we need to do now, now we have the basic shape of our ear. So again, you need to know what an ear looks like. So I'm going to go to polygon mode and I'm going to select those three polygons and hit delete. Okay, I'm going to go to vertex mode and I'm going to right click and cut from here to here. Ah, not, not cut, my bad. Uh, target world from here to here from here to here and from here to there and then from here to there okay so I see that doesn't want to go so I'll just go select this border and cap that border and let me try that now target target weld this one to that one there we go okay so what I want to do now is I just want to go and start to shape this I'm going to bring this out take this one and push that in take this one slowly start to push that in take this one over here and pull that out okay I actually think uh, let me undo quickly I actually want to keep this. I actually want to keep that shape. Yeah, I'll figure out what to do there later on. Let me just go and shape this here a little bit better. So I just want to make this look more like an ear. Okay, I'm not going to be too worried about detail because this is going to be a, a cartoony style character okay so she's not, she's not realistic okay so I'm not going to worry too much about getting a proper ear shape I'll take this back a little bit okay so I think something like that should be fine. Okay, now I just need to figure out what I'm going to do with this part here. 
can go and push this back a little bit. Let me select this border and I'll cap that. Okay, I actually need this part to go into Sometimes it does get a little bit hard to see inside of here. Let's go inside here. Okay, I think I think I kind of messed up over here. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm just gonna redo this ear real quick. Okay, so I just quickly redid this uh, piece over here. So I'm gonna go extrude this out. Okay, so extrude this out by uh, 0 0.4. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select these ones over here and just hit delete and then I'll right click and target weld this one to that one okay then I'm going to take this vertex and just push it down a little bit and also push it back Okay, just like that. Okay, and I'm gonna go right click and target weld this one to that one. Okay, I'm just gonna take this one and just push it forward. Take this one, just push it in a little bit. Right click and target weld this one to that one and then that one uh, target weld that one to that one it's not working so I'll go select this border so let me see what's going on here that is one vertex yes okay I'll just go cap this and then if I go to edge mo uh, vertex mode this should go into that one view now I will just start to shape this I'm gonna push this back into the ear okay so just doing some more shaping I think that's looking good. So I'm just going to do some more shaping. Okay, so 
just something like that. I'm just gonna start to just bring this out a little bit more. Maybe take this one and push that in and go back a little bit. Okay, so luckily with a character like this, we don't need to worry too much about going in too realistic. Okay, so so far I'm happy with the way that that looks. The back looks looks good. Let me take this one and just pull that down a little bit. Go to my left view. Push that up a little bit. Okay, looking good. The rest of the little tweakings I will do um, in between lesson. Okay, so the last thing that we're gonna do that we're gonna do to the ear, select polygon mode and select this inner polygon. And I'm gonna go click on inset. Okay, and I'm just gonna take this value down. Okay, we never want uh, any of our uh, objects to or our geometry to overlap like that because that'll uh, make it quite difficult to to work with. Okay, so we're going to insert that something like that. Click OK, and then I will just simply push that in. Okay, I just want to make sure. I then push it past so it starts coming out somewhere. I don't think it will actually, so that's perfect. Okay, whoa. And there we have it. There's the character's ear. Okay, so that does look kind of weird right now. I can go and smooth that out a little bit more. Or I can just go select element mode, go all the way down. So we have about five smoothing groups. So I'll go clear all and set that all to one smoothing group. Okay, I can go relax if I wanted to. Uh, I don't think I will. Okay, and that's already looking quite nice. Okay, let me go and apply symmetry like I did before. Okay, double click that, double click that, modify list, I'll go to symmetry and click on flip. Okay, so now we can see what that character looks like. So I uh, see that I have quite a few uh, things that I need to go and take care of like I have a line here on top which I need to go and have a look at okay if I just deselect F4 to get rid of that uh, our edged faces okay see so I have this line in here so I need to go and take care of that okay same with the ear I actually need to go let me go and push this ear in a little bit more something like that okay or instead of pushing it in I can maybe inset that one more time and push it in okay I'll just go select element mode again clear all smoothing groups add it all to one Okay, and that's looking good. I'll just save that. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to smooth everything out a little bit. So in a modify list, I'm just going to go to Turbo Smooth. Okay, and I'm going to click on Turbo Smooth. I'm going to add about, I'm going to click on F4. Okay, and I'm going to add about three iterations. Okay. So this is going to smooth out the character a lot. So you can see how this is smoothing out the character. Look at all of these polygons that uh, it's added in. So this will be a 
nightmare to go and adjust okay because now we have all of these uh, polygons that we need to go and work with and if we want to do any adjustments we need to go and select all of that so that will be kind of impossible to do so luckily this turbo smooth has a feature called isoline display so if I select isoline display you'll see that I'll have my original polygons back okay so when it comes to turbo smooth never go over three iterations okay uh, unless you have a strong enough PC that can handle it okay um, but uh, just to be safe you never want to go over three iterations because it will slow down your entire program if you don't have a strong enough PC okay so now with that turbo smooth on we can now see what this ear looks like so if we want to go and make some more adjustments to that we can but uh, like I said this is a cartoony style character so I think the ears are uh, they're pretty good actually I kinda like them okay they're gonna be covered up mostly with hair anyway but it's, uh, it's not such a big deal I kinda like that okay so this is what we have done so far the character's head is now basically done just a few minor things like this line here a uh, little bump we need to go and take care of but uh, other than that I think it's actually looking pretty good so uh, I'm gonna stop the video here and then the next lesson we're gonna go build the neck and then from the neck we'll go and build out the entire uh, body okay so character's head is done